let's discuss capacitance of a capacitor before we go to the actual discussion we would like to show you a simple parallel plate capacitor there is a dielectric material inserted in between these two parallel plates now let us connect one battery of voltage v across the capacitor as soon as we connect the battery across the capacitor due to electrostatic force of battery many free electrons in the plate connected to positive terminal of the battery will shift away towards the battery this causes positive charge accumulation at that plate of the capacitor at the same time due to attraction of positive plate free electrons from the battery will be accumulated in another plate in other words it can be said that there is a negative charge accumulation at the plate which is connected with negative terminal of the battery as there is a difference in polarity of charge between two plates there would be a potential difference or voltage exists between the plates the charge accumulation increases with time but there is no current crosses the gap between the plates this is because these two parallel plates are separated by dielectric which prevents flowing of current through it as much as charge is accumulated on the opposite plates the voltage across the capacitor increases accordingly this voltage continues to increase until it becomes exactly equal to the voltage of the source battery the process of accumulating charge in the capacitor and associated increase of voltage across it is called charging of capacitor this changing process continues depending on the voltage appeared across the capacitor but it does not depend on the charge accumulated in the capacitor for same voltage appeared across a capacitor the charge accumulated in the capacitor may be different for different capacitor how much charge is required to be accumulated or stored in a capacitor for developing a certain voltage across it depends on a typical property of capacitor called capacitance for a certain capacitor if voltage appearing across it is v volts for which q coulomb charge is stored in it then we can write q is proportional to v or q equals to c into v this c is here the constant of proportionality known as capacitance of the capacitor this equation can be rewritten as c equals to q by v now we will put q equals 1 coulomb and v equals 1 volt and we will get c equals 1 coulomb by 1 volt this 1 coulomb by 1 volt is the unit of capacitance so one unit of capacitance is defined as such capacitance of a capacitor which causes 1 volt potential difference across the capacitor when 1 coulomb charge is stored in it this unit of capacitance is named as farad after name of michael faraday now it is understood that charge required to be stored in a capacitor for developing a certain voltage across it is proportional to the capacitance of the capacitor how much charge is accumulated on the opposite plates of a capacitor for developing a certain voltage depends on area of the capacitor plates if area of the plates is larger more charge can accumulate on the plates for same voltage across them if the distance between the plates is smaller more charge can accumulate on the plates for same voltage across them therefore capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the capacitor plates and it is inversely proportional to distance between the plates we can write c is proportional to plate area a and c is proportional to 1 by distance of the plates small d that means c is proportional a by d from here we can write c equals to 
epsilon into a by d. This epsilon is constant of proportionality here, but it has a significance in determining capacitance of the capacitor. This is permittivity of the dielectric material inserted between the plates of capacitor. If all other factors are fixed, the capacitance depends on the dielectric material used in the capacitor. Rather to say, it depends on the permittivity of the dielectric material used in the capacitor. Hope you got a basic idea of capacitance. Thank you.